let's see if we can get through a video without my phone going off, shall we? Hey YouTube, it's the Are Pie Pie. Ever... Are you listening? Shut up and sit down. It's the Pie Pie. It's my tail and I'm the other one. Hey YouTube, it's the Pie Pie Pie. <laughs> Hey YouTube, it's Piper, or the Pied Piper, whatever you want to call me. I have decided to abandon how I approach this. So first and foremost, like this video right now. Don't keep watching, don't pass go, do not collect $200. Go down and like it real quick and subscribe if you are not already a subscriber because ain't nobody got time for you to wait to do that because if you wait, you won't. So do it, <laughs> even though I do say it again at the end of the video, but that's pre-recorded. This is live, not really. Anyway, it's Sunday and it's daytime because remember I said I had crappy lighting in my last video because my lights were kind of being crazy. So I decided to film this video when it was light outside and I still have all my regular lights up, but I also have the ambient light or natural light too. So I'm hoping that that gives me a little edge on not looking crazy in this video. If I look crazy, it's just because of that. So don't come for me unless I sin for you. Thank you. <laughs> Anyhow, so I know you're probably thinking, a video on Monday? How does this happen? Well, it happens because I was bored, <laughs> you see? I've been making some changes in my life, and one of the changes I made was deciding that I'm going to do this video because this is important. And I did kind of approach this in my last video because this show, Mixedish, is coming out on Tuesday the 24th, which is tomorrow. For you guys, it's tomorrow. For me, it's in like two days, <laughs> but it's tomorrow for you. And I wasn't gonna watch it because, I don't know, like I love Tika Sumner, like I really do. Part of me feels like her and I are like kindred spirits for some reason. I don't know why it is. I just have always really liked her and I think she's super pretty and she's dark skinned chocolate girl and I just think that's beautiful. And not that other people aren't beautiful if they're light skin or no pigment or no melanin, but I really obviously would identify with her a little more than anybody else. And so, and I think she's beautiful and she's been in several things that I just love her in and I don't think she gets enough credit because she used to be on one of my favorite soap operas because as you know, I grew up on like One Life to Live, All My Children, Days of Our Lives and General Hospital. And so she was on One Life to Live, I believe, and she played somebody's sister and whatever. Long story short, she got, to, she got together with Christian and I was like, yes. So she's always kind of crossed those boundaries. She was in that Tyler Perry movie that was a holiday movie where her parents didn't know that she was actually married to a white guy. And so they came to visit and they tried to play it off like everything was cool and he was just like the... I don't know, the handyman or something crazy like that, or I don't know, a renter. I don't really know how they played it off. I can't remember. It's been a while since I saw it, but I really like Tika Sumner. I've liked her for a long time, and I thought her and I, you know, would be best friends in my mind. So, sorry I keep making noises with my mouth. I got a lot of saliva building up. Maybe I'm just super excited about Mixish, or is it because I'm super excited that my boo thing, Zach from Save by the Bell, let me stop, let me stop, the agent from The Passage, let me stop. Franklin or Bash from that show, Franklin and Bash. Let me stop. <laughs> Whatever. He's been on a lot of stuff. <laughs> anyway, I've had a crush on him since he was way back in the day, Saved by the Bell with Miss Bliss and everybody. And this is pre-AC Slater and Tiffany Amber Thiessen. And if you know, like I know, you know that Mark Paul Kostler was dating Lark Voorhees for almost the entire duration of Saved by the Bell. And I always was like, why didn't they ever play up that whole Zack and Lisa thing more? Because remember, Screech and Zack get into a fight? Anyway, I digress. Tika Sumpner is the mom for Mixedish, and the old dad, or I guess not the old dad, it's not like he's old, but let me look on my phone. So if I look down, that's why. Let's just hope that I don't get any weird notifications while I'm doing this. The dad was Anders home. And I guess he is the star of and co-creator of the show or something, Workaholics. And he was going to be the lead to Mixedish. But something happened. I don't know what happened. He left the project for some reason. And so they had to recast. 
And so they recast my boo thing, Mark Paul Gosler. And we all know he likes a little, you know, chocolate in his coffee. <laughs> I don't know how to say it in reverse. When I'm talking about myself and what I like, I say cream in my coffee. So I guess I probably should say he likes coffee in his cream. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, he's going to be the lead of Mixed Dish. And Tika Sumner is the mom. So I'm kind of excited for that because I just want to see how it'll play out. I kind of liked the trailer, but like a lot of other people say on here or on YouTube, if you look at other people's channels, they'll say stuff like, hey, I'm not going to be reviewing the trailer to that show because I just don't think you can know enough about a show with a trailer. And I agree with that wholeheartedly. I saw the trailer with the original guy, Anders Holm, and it was funny to me. Like, I kind of liked it. I really liked the guy that plays like Anders Holm dad in that, and I kind of thought he looked more like his dad. And so I don't really think that that guy looks a lot like Mark Ball Costler's dad, but whatever. I'll see how it works because I do like that guy. He's always funny and he plays like the same kind of guy because wasn't he in that movie of um, Office Space? I loved that movie. I love it when they go outside and beat the crap out of the copy machine because I have had jobs where that's exactly what I wanted to do with my life. <laughs> anyway, I digress and sorry I go off on tangents. ADD is real. So they're a mixed race family and if you know me, like I know me, you know that mixed race is my ish it's my sizzle it's my thing so of course i'm gonna be super excited when a show represents you know everything my life encompasses of course i'm gonna probably tune in for like the first episode first couple episodes to see how it works a lot of people are having some issues with it because i guess rainbow who is tracy ellis ross who plays on the show blackish she is the mom and so basically mixed dish is going to be following the mom from blackish her life as she went from being like in a hippie commune to the suburbs with her mixed family. So, but like the weird thing is, is that I guess her mom has been on the show Blackish or her, you know, TV mom has been on the show Blackish and she's pale skin, whereas Tika Sumner, as beautiful as she is, is a dark skinned woman. So people are like, what happened? How would her mom get lighter as she got older? Kind of like the whole two Vivians on Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, how the new one was light and the old one was darker. And people were kind of like, wait, why did Aunt Viv change so drastically? Remember how they handled it though? They did kind of address it where everybody would look at her and say, since you had that baby, you haven't been the same. <laughs> Maybe they're gonna do something like that on Blackish to write off or I guess kind of one liner out the idea that Tika Sumter is a drastic departure from the person who plays Rainbow's mom on Blackish. I don't know how it's gonna work. I don't watch Blackish. I think I've watched maybe like one or two episodes of that show and I think it was on accident. Like nothing else was on. I don't watch TV. A lot of you know, like I haven't had a TV in several years. I just watch things online and I just don't know why. I just prefer it. I'm weird and I have all these streaming things so I might as well just watch online. But, so like I was saying, Mixed Dish comes on on ABC for the very first time tomorrow, which is September 24th. And before I go any further, I would just like to say, and boys, if you're watching this, guys, go do something else. Go look at the, the ceiling for a minute or tune out. But I have to talk to the girls. Have you ever had one of those days where you were like, hey, I'm gonna do like a no makeup makeup look? That's what today started like for me. We see how it ended, right? We've got everything going on. I've got my uh, fall eyeshadow again because it's fall or beginning to be fall. Actually, I think today is the first day of fall, right? 21st? Today's 21st? Okay, so I am unknowledgeable because today's Sunday the 22nd and it's the second day of fall, I guess. I think fall starts on the 21st, September 21st. I should know. It's my favorite season. You'd think I'd have this on lock, but I don't, obviously. It's been a rough day and as you can tell I'm like trying to get this video out before I lose all my sunlight and good lighting and good skin look and everything else before things start shining and stuff like that. But my hair is what I want to address. So for y'all who don't care, I don't care. Don't listen. Don't ask me who asked. I didn't ask you to ask that. You clicked on my face a la Dave Chappelle. Wait, wait. So my hair looks crazy right now. <laughs> obviously you can see me and you know that I have like a 15 head. I don't have a forehead. I have like a 27 head. My forehead is large and in charge and it is proportionate. Like I have a proportionate face, but for some reason I look at my forehead like it is a big place. Like if I could sell advertising space right here, I'd probably make companies tons of money. My forehead is huge. 
So I try to cover it up with like bangs and, and other stuff and it never works out. Do you have that problem? What do you think I should do? How do I fix that? Or do I just wear my big forehead loud and proud and just do away with the bangs? Because my hair's so long right now that I don't really have bangs, quote unquote. I can actually throw this all back into my ponytail, but I don't want to because my head is so big, it needs distraction. <laughs> I mean, I highlighted and did all the fun stuff to make it play it down, but it's still, uh. anyhow. <laughs> I digress. Boys, you can come back now. Get on screen. Just talking about mixish. Nothing to see here. So anyway, mixish on ABC Tuesday. Tomorrow for you. Two days for me. Watch it. Because I want to have a conversation about this. I told you that I was going to be reviewing stuff. I don't know if I'm going to review mixish. I really don't because look what happened with the passage. I loved the passage. I'm all about paranormal fantasy stuff. I was in on the passage and I told you guys to get in there and get comments and ratings so that this show would stay on the air. But you didn't. You didn't listen and look what happened. So just so you know, you cannot do that. And don't get upset with me saying, oh, you can't use that accent. Um, black well, can, so get it straight. Next dish is my jam. And I'm going to watch the first couple episodes just to see. Just like I did with Roswell and, and tried to see if I would like that show. And if you followed my other reactions and my grading of Roswell, you'll discover that I actually did end up finishing the first season of Roswell, the newer one, the Roswell, New Mexico. And I actually started liking it a little bit. Not enough to like remember when it's on, but enough to maybe if it's on Netflix, give it another look and see. The Passage I loved and would have continued watching if I could have, but they canceled it thanks to you. <laughs> it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Not your fault. But they canceled it. And so now we have Mixed Dish and we have Mark Paul Gosler, even though I don't know where they're, what they're going to do with that little girl who played Amy on The Passage, but she needs to be in TV and lights and she's a good actress. I really don't want to see her star dim and die out because a lot of that happens with these kids that are black and, and kids of color. That happens where even if they're really good, they're traded out so quickly and then you just never really see from them again. Remember the show One on One? Yeah, where'd she go? She's a great actress. I don't see her anywhere. Even her little friend Spirit, haven't seen in anything. <laughs> you know, Moesha, we all know that Kevin Federline totally baby mama that chick on there. And that girl we haven't seen again in anything really. She's Char Jackson, I think is her name. So I'm advocating to put these little actresses in other stuff. Just because the passage didn't work out, I pray to God that she gets into something else because she was a good actress and I don't want her to die away. And also, I think that the person who played Dr. Sykes actually is a known actress, but I really would like to see her in some other things too. Where are we going to get our British fix? for Dr. Sykes. We've got to have her back and I want to see her in something amazing. So let's hope that she returns sometime in another primetime show. Anyway, I had to throw in British accent. I mean, why not? This is a really short video and I don't know what else to do. <laughs> it's just about mixed-ish. So watch mixed-ish. Come back. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you think. Are you gonna watch it? Do you watch Blackish? Is there something I'm missing? Because I don't watch Blackish. I mean, I really dig Anthony Anderson, but he lost all that weight and looks funny to me. And also, he is misrepresenting our last name. <laughs> so I don't know. I just don't, I don't, I don't dig that show. I really like the show Girlfriends that has uh, Tracy Ellis Ross in it. That, and I used to love that show. And I used to identify with Maya and I believe Tony Childs on that show. And I wish that show didn't go by the wayside because I swear that was like the sex in the city for people of color. Like it was a really good show. And then that chick that played Monica that I believe was like William's uh, wife or girlfriend or something at one point on that show. I loved her too. She's also married to a white guy. FYI. I'll insert some pictures so that you guys can see. And then we all know that I think it's Persia, Portia White. <laughs> I don't know. She's funny though. But she is married to Klaus from the originals. And that's all I really care to say. Though she is biracial. So this is right up the alley of mixed-ish and talking mixed and diverse casts. So I'm pretty excited. We got to get in where we can with these shows on TV that are diverse casts. And I'm all about a diverse cast. And if you know a show that I should watch that has some diversity, let me know. And I will watch it and review it and recap it and reaction for you guys. Whatever you want. Just let me know. And as always, you know exactly how to get in touch with me. You know I'm trying to meet a goal on Instagram. So go over there and 
follow me so that I can meet my goal and become Instagram famous. I'm probably not gonna be Instagram famous. I don't even desire to be. I just have a goal and you need to subscribe here. So do all that and get back with me there after Tuesday when Mixish comes out. And like I said, if you watch Blackish, and sorry if my hair is weird right now, this is a really bad hair day. I mean, I just really went overboard. <laughs> but Mixish is out Tuesday. Blackish, I don't watch. So if you watch Blackish, like I was saying, let me know what you think of that show and what I should be looking out for on Mixish. I'm never going to watch Grownish because I am past that time in my life. <laughs> but I, I have been, I'm grown. I, I'm not grownish. I'm grown. I, I passed over into grown. So I am grown, although I'm not that old. But if you look on Instagram and see one of these little pages that I played a game on, they paired me with like the oldest dude in creation. I was like, what's that about? I digress. Do all the stuff you're supposed to do here. Go like this. Go subscribe and I will catch you Tuesday. I do have another video coming out Tuesday. So you're going to get like probably three videos this week if I get so excited as to edit all these videos. This one's probably going to get edited first. One has got to come out tomorrow and two, it's probably shorter. <laughs> so do all the stuff that you need to do and let's watch Mixed Dish the first couple episodes together. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Share any way you can. Smoke signal, Morse code, Taylor Pigeon, Telegraph, two cans of string, a beeper, a patron, it's not a patron, snail mail, tell somebody that knows somebody that knew somebody that knows somebody that, hey, Piper has a new video. Are you listening? Damn.